somebody asked me, oh, you know, it takes so many hours and then people call yourself a, like an expert. You know, have you gotten to that hour mark yet? And I'm like, I don't think I know any potter that would say that they're an expert because it's just a continuously evolving exploration. I'm Megan McCrone and I'm a local potter in Squamish. I uh, apprenticed with Vincent Massey in Whistler and once I was living there and working with him full time, I was like, this is, this is what I need to do. The process of pottery is very all-consuming. You're really putting your body into the process and it's a very romanticized process where, you know, people think you just sit there and make your beautiful work while you're listening to lovely music in the dark and Patrick Swayze behind you, but not really. <laughs> I would say that's probably 10%. And it's not just art, but it's also super functional to, you know, nourish people and store food, which is another reason why I picked it, because when I was doing drawing and painting, I just didn't have enough wall space. My stuff is working on a daily basis, hopefully, for other people, and they've um, integrated that in their daily rituals of nourishment and you know, when you just have a crummy day and you want to come home and have a cup of tea and they reach for, hopefully, a nice mug that you've made to help comfort them. You know, to think that the things that I'm making are out there being used daily by people is really gratifying and a huge honor and I love it.